Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to share how I made flour sack towels. I'll show you how I fold these as well as how to do this with the heat press and the Cricut Easy Press too. I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. It's completely free and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos and let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to click on uploads first and upload my designs. I'm going to select Thanksgiving Blessings and Sweeter Than Pumpkin Pie. I have already downloaded these from my folder and I am going to insert these into Cricut Design Space. These are Patreon images that I've talked about quite a bit on my channel lately. I have started a Patreon account and one of the perks for joining is getting these hand-drawn SVGs. So I have a link in my description box if you're interested in that. I'm going to make both of these 5 inches wide. Now I'm just going to attach both of these. I'm going to be using kind of a burnt orange glitter color for my vinyl, but they're both going to be the exact same, so I'm just going to leave it with this black color. Now I'm just going to click on make it. I'm going to mirror my design and sometimes I like to move this out just a little bit just because it makes it easier to cut in between here. Now I'm going to click continue and I'm going to select glitter iron on. I'm using glitter Caesar easy weed that I bought from Michaels. I placed this shiny side down on the mat. I load it into my machine and it will cut out my design. Once it is done, I unload the mat, cut out my design, then start weeding it out. There was a little bit of extra vinyl on the end of the sheet, so I decided to cut that piece off. I always try to save as much vinyl as I can. I just recently got this mini trash can from the shop Lots of Style. I'm loving it for my weeded vinyl. It makes it so convenient to throw the vinyl in there while I'm weeding. I will have a link for the trash can in my description box and through November 17th you can use the code KAYLA30, KAYLA in all caps, where you can get 30% off. I accidentally lost my eye and dots for the eyes, so I'll show you how I went back and fixed that. Weeding out my design, I lost this eye and I also lost the little dots for these eyes. So I'm going to try to have the Cricut cut that again. So I'm going to um, detach these. Then I am going to ungroup. I'm going to try to group all of this together except for the eye and the dots. Then I'm going to hide those. I'm going to come over to my layers panel and I'll select these to hide them. I want to hide everything except for, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to group those together and then I'm going to hide them. And this eye, I'm going to hide that eye. I'm going to go to Thanksgiving Blessings. I'm going to detach that. I'm going to ungroup this. And this dot is all on its own, so I'm going to slide this over. Then I'm going to select all of these, I'm going to group them together, and I'm going to hide them. I'm going to attach this eye together. You know what I might do is just make this eye just a little bit bigger. We'll see if this will work. They're so tiny that it's so easy to lose those. But I'm going to click on make it, and you can see how small it is. But I'm just going to kind of slide these over a little bit. Okay, I'm going to mirror this and I'm going to hit continue and I'll select my glitter iron on again. To add the eye and dots, I took them off the carrier sheet and then I placed them where they should go on the design.
I bought these flower sack towels at Walmart. They were around $7 for 10 towels. I'll show you here how I fold these. I'm sure there's lots of ways to do it, but I have found this to be the easiest. First, I fold it in half. Then I take about a quarter of it and fold it over. Then I fold the other side on top of that. I like, to, I like it to be around five inches wide, so you can see I'm measuring here to make sure it's at that. This is just the way I fold these. You can fold it however you like. After that, I fold it in half. Since these are flower sack towels, they do not fold up perfectly, but that is how they are supposed to be. Here, I'm just folding the other towel the same way. I'm going to first show you how I use my heat press to make these. For regular vinyl, I keep it set at 315, but for glitter, I bumped it up to 330. While it's heating up, I press over both of my towels to preheat them before adding the vinyl. You could do this with your Cricut Easy Press too as well. This is actually the first time I have shown my heat press on my channel. I use my Cricut Easy Press 2 for most of my videos because it's so convenient and easy to get out, but I absolutely love my heat press as well. I bought my heat press from Heat Press Nation about six months ago, and I can't recommend them enough. I'll leave a link below if you are interested. I've been thinking about putting together a video comparing my heat press and my Easy Press 2 and just sharing the differences. Let me know if you would be interested in a video like that. I set my design on my towel. Then I open it up. If you leave it folded, it will not have an even press and the vinyl might start to pick up after a while. I forgot to unfold the last fold, so I probably should have, should have done that. You can buy a pressing pillow for your heat press. Using that, you can keep the towel folded up and the pillow allows the towel to sink into the foam, giving it an even pressure. So that is for the heat press. You can buy those pressing pillows, but I do not have one of those, so I decided to unfold my towel. I place my towel on the heat press and put my Teflon sheet over it. I always use these to protect my vinyl and material. You can also use parchment paper as well. I close my heat press and the timer will start counting down. I have it set at 15 seconds. Once it beeps, I open up the press. This is a warm peel, so I remove the carrier sheet right away. I fold it back up and look how cute these turned out. I really love the glitter. For my next towel, I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press 2. I open up the settings and select Glitter Iron-On and 100% Cotton. I set my Easy Press to 330 at 30 seconds. I unfold this towel as well and set my Easy Press mat underneath it. I decided to set my Teflon sheet underneath the towel as well because it is so thin. Then I place my Teflon sheet on top and press with my Easy Press. After that, I remove my carrier sheet and my flower sack towels are done.
Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And check out my Patreon account in the description box below if you would like to support my channel even further. And there are some perks as well when you join. And have a great day. Thank you.